when we create a project it will generate two files one is the XML and the other is the its Java file similarly you can also add more new files we'll create in this one first one note the test and test implementation files you can simply go to new and just add activity you can select any of these and it will be added here it will generate two types of files one is for the Java and that is for XML for just three different types of layouts the first one is constant layout second one is linear layout and the third one is relative layout the constant layout is kinda very tricky uh, with the positioning like it's kinda drag and drop thing you have to do this thing with the component and it's still most of the, of the time doesn't work for me kinda very tricky to handle and most of the people don't use it and I also use linear layout most of the time with relative layout um, I prefer to use linear layout with the relative layout so we are going uh, actually just want to show it how it works we can we actually is a kind of drag and drop thing we have to attach the multiple components here just copy it again and we can add another component here it will be just on its back here it is we have to connect these two components with each other so they will be appear together clear constant selections and now again I have to connect with it this one this is how the constant layout works like I would prefer and suggest you not to use constant layout use the linear layout I'm already told you about there we have three different layouts available there are some properties of the linear layouts like orientation is the property of the linear layout orientation means like how you want your screen to be scaled like how your component will work, work now I have mentioned the vertical it means that all the component will be organized in the vertical way like in the y axis if I change it, change it to horizontal they will be in a row they will be organized in a row and uh, we have some other features for that like we can add uh, weight sum like I'm going to add two that means the whole row will contains only two elements and they will be these two text view let's add them and I will have to add layout weight for that one and one these are the just uh, good things to make your UI responsive on different screen sizes like even if you run this app on the 4 inch screen it will show the two layout two text views on the single row even if you run this on the 7 inch screen device it will still show the two text views on the single row so this is how it makes it the, it the responsive on the long term let's change the color color primary so it will create the difference okay here it is let's increase the text size 30, 20 dp okay make it 20 okay this is how the linear layout works just a pro uh, introduction we can also do a nesting layouting we can change it to a vertical and you can see the only two layouts on the whole screen let's change it to a relative I'm removing the linear layout properties let's remove it again now we have some different things like we can also decorate the IDs like sep like uh, identity for each text views I'm going to declare here I'm, I have named the text view 1 and text 1 I'm going to name the text view 2 now they are the separate identities and now I'm going to mention we have to play with the things like uh, we have different options like layout merge parent bottom when we make it true it will be in the bottom of the screen simply parent top we have different kinds of options here it is you can see it's just below the first layout we can also add multiple layouts here just add another one text view 3 and it will be below the text view 2 so this is how it works we can also add margin we can also add padding and all these things you can you have to discover all of these things we have just discussing the main things so you can take a start and take it further to the next level and we have a lot of aligned properties line parent bottom you can see all of these properties here you just have to these the properties which have these cutoff line that means they are depreciated so this is how these all three layouts box